Did you just become a crypto millionaire off WIF or Bonk last year? Well, it's time to start thinking about taxes. Every year, the IRS begins to pay more attention to crypto. And now at the top of Form 1040, it asks, at any time during 2024, did you A, receive as a reward or payment for property or services, or B, sell, exchange, or otherwise dispose of a digital asset or a financial interest in a digital asset? Don't freak out. I know it's a lot. I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate your crypto taxes step by step. But make sure to stick around to the end because I'll show you how to automate this whole process with Awaken so you don't have to spend hours calculating everything manually. Real quick, just to get this out of the way, this is not tax or financial advice, just educational information to help you understand the process. Always consult a tax professional to make sure you're filing correctly. Awaken recommends a few CPAs that we have linked below. All right, before we start crunching numbers, let's break down how crypto taxes actually work. So crypto is taxed just like stocks or property. The IRS doesn't care if you call it the future of money or fart coin. If you make money, they want a cut. But here's where things get tricky. There's a ton of taxable events in crypto and most people don't even realize they owe taxes on them. Let's go over the crypto transactions that are taxable and the ones that aren't. And don't skip ahead because I'll explain later on how some of these can actually save you money. So what exactly counts as a taxable event? Selling crypto for cash. If you sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any of these coins at profit, you owe taxes on the gain. Trading one crypto for another, even if you never cash out to USD, swapping Solana for WIF is a taxable event. Spending crypto on goods or services, buying a Tesla with Bitcoin, that is a taxable event. Staking, mining, airdrops, any crypto you earn is considered income and taxed as such. So did you just get the Pangu or the Jito airdrop? You owe taxes on that. NFT sales and flipping, made money trading NFTs, that's taxable too. Now, what is not a taxable event? Buying and holding crypto, I know it seems obvious, but this is not taxable, not until you sell. Transferring between your own wallets, as long as you're not selling or trading, there's no tax event. Receiving crypto is a gift. If someone sent you Bitcoin for your birthday, first of all, congratulations. Second, you don't owe taxes, but you might if it's over 18,000. So as long as it's not over 18,000. And if you're wondering how to legally lower your crypto taxes, uh, I've got some pro tips coming up later, so keep watching. All right, so now that we know what's taxable, let's go over how to actually calculate everything manually. And trust me, this part's gonna really make you appreciate just how easy the automated process is, and I'll show you that later. And as always, if you are unsure about anything, make sure to consult a tax professional. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is gather every single crypto transaction that you've made. It's a lot, so strap in. That means logging into Coinbase, into Binance, into Kraken, into Metamask, literally every exchange wallet or platform that you've used. Once you're in, you're gonna want to export your full transaction history and this is where things get uh get messy you'll need the date of the trade what you bought or sold how much you paid how much you received and the price of the assets at that time yeah imagine doing this manually for hundreds of thousands of transactions sounds fun right once you have that you need to calculate your capital gains and losses let's say you bought one Bitcoin at $30,000 and you sold it for $50,000. That means you made a $20,000 profit and guess what? That's taxable income. But if you sold it at a loss, you can actually use that to lower your tax bill. Here's where things get tricky. If you held your crypto for over a year, you get lower long-term capital gains tax rates anywhere from 0% to 20% depending on your income. But if you sold in under a year, you're paying short-term capital gains tax, which is the same rate as your regular income tax, and that could be as high as 37%. Your tax rate is determined by a couple of factors like marital status and income. Oh, and if you're making money, staking, mining, and getting airdrops, you owe income tax on whatever you earn based on fair market value at the time you received it. So if you mined one Ethereum and it was worth $2,500, you have to report $2,500 in taxable income even if you haven't sold it yet. Once you've done all that, it's time to file with the IRS. You'll need Form 8949 for gains and losses, Schedule D to report totals, and if you made staking or mining income, you might also need Schedule 1 or Schedule C. At this point, if your brain is melting, don't worry because I'm about to show you the fastest and the easiest way to do all of this automatically, even if you have hundreds or thousands of transactions. All right, so 
Let's be real, manually calculating crypto taxes is a nightmare. I mean, we just, uh, we just saw that. That's why I'm suggesting Awaken to do this automatically. This software saves hours of work and makes filing your taxes so much easier. Here's how it works. Okay, so first you sign up and you connect your wallets and exchanges for free. Awaken then imports all of your transactions, and I mean all of them, and it instantly calculates your gains, your losses, and taxable income in seconds. After that, it generates a full tax report that you can download and use with TurboTax, your accountant, or any tax software that you use. There's no spreadsheets, there's no headaches, just everything done for you. Oh, yeah, and the best part is that you can get started for free just by connecting your wallet, so there's literally no reason not to try it. All right, so now you know exactly how to calculate your crypto taxes in 2025. Awaken will make it super easy, so if you want to check them out, just go to awaken.tax. If this video helped you out, smash the like button, more people can see it. If you have questions, I read those, but uh, if you want to stick around for more videos, subscribe, because we have so much more crypto and money hacks coming to you soon. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Peace and love, and I'll see you on the next one.